Hello crystals welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to discuss a very interesting topic or condition which is painful rf syndrome so without doing further ado let's get started before we start to learn about it we should know about some anatomy and kinesiology as we already discussed in our previous video the shoulder complex is made up of four joints namely acromioclavicular joint sternoclavicular joint scapulothoracic joint and the glenohumeral joint as we go into some details the glenohumeral joint is made up of head of the humerus and the glenoid cavity of the scapula structurally it is a weak joint because the glenoid cavity is too small and the shallow to hold the head of the humerus in place as the head is four times larger than the size of glenoid cavity so as for the above there is a chances of shoulder dislocation is increased but that didn't happen so what can be the reason for it so to support the shoulder joint in its place muscular tendinous attachments are there which provide the stability during the static and dynamic condition so one of these attachments an important attachment is there which is rotator cuff muscles so the rotator cuff muscle is formed by four flattened tendons which blend with the capsule of the shoulder and strengthens it so which are these four muscles so that are supraspinatus infraspinatus teres minor and the subscapularis as you can see the supraspinatus muscle infraspinatus muscle uh, supraspinatus means uh, the muscle which lies uh, above the spine of the scapula and the infraspinatus means which lies beneath the spine of the scapula another anatomical structure important to discuss is coracoacromial arch it is a arch which is formed by the coracoid process the acromion coracoacromial ligament and the inferior surface of the acromioclavicular joint between the arch and the humeral head it's called the subacromial space as you can see in this picture the coracoacromial arch the subacromial bursa the rotator cuff tendons and a portion of the tendon of the long head of the biceps brachii lie within the subacromial space the normal value of interval is 10 mm during the arm adducted at the side and decreases to about 5 mm during the elevation of the arm as you can see in this picture the rotator cuff tendons uh, long head of the biceps brachii tendon uh, and the subacromial bursa is lie beneath the subacromial uh, arch now i hope you understand this basics so here we can discuss our topic which is painful arc syndrome so when the subacromial space decreases then its normal value the likelihood of impingement of the rotator cuff tendons and the subacromial bursa during the elevation of the arm increases there are variety of factors which decreases the subacromial space some of these are changes in the shape or slope of the acromion acromial bone spurs acromioclavicular joint osteophytes means ac joint arthritis large coracoacromial ligament this uh, proportionately large humeral head and the abnormal scapular or humeral motions so due to these factors and the repetitive impingement it leads to inflammation fibrosis and the thickening of the soft tissue and which further reducing the subacromial space during the arm elevation another detail i want to highlight is that so during the abduction deltoid pulls the humeral head superiorly in, uh, in its line of pull in the cephalic direction to offset this and to provide dynamic stabilization rotator cuff plays an important role so the line of pull of the infraspinatus teres minor and the subscapularis in a caudal direction so they provide the dynamic stabilization as you can see in this image the deltoid pulls the humeral head in the superior direction because its line of pull in the superior direction 
but uh, the rotator cuff tendons which the infraspinatus subscapularis and the teres minor uh, their line of pull in the inferior direction so they uh, pull the humerus in a inferior direction also the supraspinatal uh, due to its superior location uh, its line of pull it can produce the independent abduction but the gravitational force offsets the superior translation of the humeral head and the resultant of the gravitational and the supraspinatus force factors contribute to an inferior gliding of the humeral head during the abduction which allowing a full articulation of the joint surfaces and preventing the abnormal superior displacement of the humeral head again i want to explain the supraspinatus which is located superiorly it pulls the humeral head in the superior direction because it uh, because its location but the gravitational force which offsets the superior translation of the uh, humeral head so the resultant of uh, the su uh, supraspinatus muscle and the gravitational force the resultant force in the inferior direction so uh, that pulls the humeral head in the inferior direction which uh, uh, prevent the abnormal superior displacement of the humeral head i hope you understand what i am trying to say so because of this repetitive trauma injuries or overuse of supraspinatus tendon it leads to inflammation which termed as a supraspinatus tendinitis because of insufficiency of the supraspinatus it cannot prevent superior displacement and it leads to reduction in the subacromial space and causes the impingement so as our space is compromised so during the mid abduction the inflamed tendon gets nipped between the greater tuberosity and the acromion and it causes pain between the range from 60 to 120 degree because of its typical presentation it is called as a painful arc syndrome sometimes due to this condition subacromial bursitis can also occurs because superior translation of the humeral head it increases the pressure over the bursa so the increased subacromial uh, pressure over the bursa are related to the both arm position and the load with the greater pressure in the bursa evident as the arms are loaded and maintained in an elevated position which can lead to inflammation i hope you understand but quickly summarize our whole topic so the repetitive trauma injuries or overuse of the supraspinatus tendon leading to inflammation which is termed as a supraspinatus tendinitis lesion is usually near the muscular tendinous region it is called as a painful arc syndrome because of its typical presentation and the active abduction of the shoulder between 60 to 120 degree is painful due to impingement of the implant tendon in the coracoacromial arch normally the supraspinatus depresses the humeral head during the abduction and prevents the upward translation of the head by deltoid pull but due to inefficiency of the supraspinatus muscle it reduces the subacromial space and causes the impingement which is termed as a painful arc syndrome and sometimes subacromial bursitis precipitates the condition now finally i uh, hope you guys understand i have given my best so that you can understand exactly what i wanted to share with you about this topic uh, if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel like this video and comment and share it with your friends thank you